Okay, our learning goal today is I can use the formula for a surface area of a prism to solve problems. Alrighty, and today we're going to do a practice and that practice is going to be all about um, triangular prisms and rectangular prisms thrown in, okay? So let's try and remember it's surface area prisms mixed. Let's go back and remember our formula chart. Make sure you have that out when you're working on it. Uh, make sure that you have your, your formulas for a triangular and for a rectangular separated. Also, there is not enough room on here. Do not do your work here. Yes, you're gonna circle, but I'm gonna do one for you. And here we go. I'm going to circle my base. I'm going to write my formula, SA equals PH plus 2 big B. Remember that I have a P and I have a B. It is a triangle, so I'm going to go to my formula chart. And my formula chart says for a triangle, my big B is 1 half times little b times H. So I've got 1 half times little b times H. I have circled everything in my base, so the le number left is the height of my prism, so I'm gonna put that in right here for eight. I'm gonna do my time sign, my plus sign, my two, and my time sign. My perimeter, remember it is on the outside edges, so it is here, here, and here. So if I follow that outside edge, I've got 8 plus 10 plus 8. Then my big B is 1 half times little b, which here's my right angle right here. So that connects my little b and my height of my prism. Remember, or not my height of my, of my triangle, I'm so sorry, my base. So that is 10 times 7. These two H's are two different things. If you are using the same number for those, you are probably wrong, unless for some reason they are the same number, but I don't think that happens very often. Ooh, it does on number 5. I, I have to take that back, okay? But don't worry about that till you get to it, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm going to find my P. I've got 8 plus 10 plus 8, and I get 26. So I'm going to plug in 26, and then I've got 1 half, which is 0. 0.5 times 10 times 7, which is 35. And so I'm going to do big B is 35. Now I'm going to do, now they're wanting lateral and total, so I'm going to do 26 times 8, and I find out that that's 208 plus 2 times 35, and I get 70. Add 208 and 70, 208 plus 70, and I get 270 for total. And then remember your lateral is the number before the plus sign, so my lateral is 208, and my total is 270. Okay, all of these steps are required. If you do not write these steps down, you will not receive credit. The whole front is triangular prisms, okay? Then when you get to the back, number eight, number nine, and number 11 are rectangular prisms. I'm going to give you just a quick hint on number eight, okay? Here I am. I am going to circle my base, which is what it is sitting on, okay? I'm going to write my formula, SA equals PH plus 2 big B, since both are prisms, okay? Then I'm going to write my number. If this is 1.9, this is 1.9. If this is 12, then this is 12, because there is my base. It's sitting on it, remember? So I've got a P and a big B. And if you remember, for a rectangle, okay, you've got little b h for your big B. Okay, So my big B is little b times h. All right. 
this is the one number that is not circled, that is not part of my base. So that is my height of my prism, which is right here. So that's going, now this is, see, we've got these decimals. Things get really crazy. 2.7, I'm going to put a time sign before that, a plus sign. And do you see how I leave space in between my numbers and my signs? I highly recommend that you do that because then you don't get things so cramped and you don't make mistakes that way, okay? So now my perimeter is going to be whatever the numbers are around my rectangle. So it looks like I have 12 plus 12 plus 1.9 plus 1.9. So I'm going to add those together and I get 12 plus 12 plus 1.9 plus 1.9 and I get 27.8. Okay, and also I'm going to put that here, 27.8. Now, some of you, if you write really big, which I tend to do, you can go ahead and use notebook paper. You don't have to use these little tiny squares, because believe me, if I used a piece of notebook paper, it would look so much neater. See how this all got cramped together? and you can barely see that decimal, that's a really bad, bad thing because I can make a mistake and forget about it because I get busy or Johnny asks me a question about, about Susie and I get really all upset over that question while I'm working and then I forget what I'm doing and I lose my concentration and next thing you know, I don't have that as a decimal. So another way maybe I can do that is separate this from here is by doing a little line. Okay, but don't make that mistake. Okay, sometimes when we get distracted, then we make mistakes because things are so cramped together. And see how this, the tail on my two almost looks like a dot. Okay, so don't let that happen. So it's 27.8. Now I have little b times h. I'm going to go over here. My two, di my two numbers, my base and my height on here is 12 times 1.9. And if I used a dot, things can get hairy. So just use that multiplication sign. 12 times 1.9, and I end up with 22.8. And I'm going to write that in for my big B up here, 22.8. Now I've got... 27.8 times 2.7, and that gives me 75.06 plus, then I'm going to do 2 times 22.8, 2 times and I get 45.6, okay, and you notice I'm still leaving lots of space. So now I'm going to add them together, 75.06 plus 45.6, and I get 120.66, okay? I'm going to come over here and transfer it over here. So remember that this is my total, 120.66, and then here before the plus sign is my lateral, 75.06, okay? So I gave you a clue, and that's probably the hardest one on here. Um, remember that for a rectangle, it's whatever it's sitting on is your base. For a triangular prism, it is the triangle that is your base or your big B. Okay? Have a great day!